Hello everyone, this is Hao Tian Zhang from the University of Washington. We are delighted to present our paper, LIFS, LIDA and Monocular Image Fusion for Multi-Optic Tracking and Segmentation. Here is the framework of a proposed LIFS algorithm, which consists of a three-stage pipeline. First, a 3D object detection is performed on a LIDA point cloud to get accurate object 3D bonding boxes, which enable us to do a more robust 3D tracking. Then, the projection of the 3D bonding box are used as a pre-computed proposals to cascade mask RCNN, not only to generate a segmentation mask, but also can help us to merge the small objects that are not previously detected in 3D. This is able to bridge the 3D word space and 2D image space consistently and produces a high quality mask for each instance. Finally, we also consider employing the optical flow as a source of additional information to further guide the pixel level segmentation. For some tracklets that are not well aligned, a re-ID approach is also adopted to reconnect those tracklets. Given the LIDAR point cloud, a 3D part aware and aggregation network is adopted to get accurate 3D object locations. The projected box onto the 2D image is sent into the face net to get appearance embedding. Then a graph-based tracklet net tracker, which takes both CNN appearance and object spatial information, is then applied to robustly associate corresponding detected objects along time. Later, in the second stage, we project each frame of the 3D trajectories onto 2D image and treat them as a pre-computed region proposals for a cascade mask RCNN-based network with point rent head to generate the mask results. Nonetheless, for those objects that are not detected by the 3D detector from LIDAR point cloud but detected by the 2D object detector from images, we use Hungarian algorithm to merge these detections with existing trajectories. We further improve the mass quality of the track objects in videos by using the temporal information, where the segmentation mass can be further refined from the previous frame's rough estimate. We also employ the optical flow as a source of additional information to guide the segmentation. In parallel to the above framework, we proceed to compute a second output mask using the magnitude of the optical flow field as the input image. We then fuse by averaging the two network results and generate the final output masks. A re-identification approach is also adopted to reconnect tracklets due to occlusions or fast motions. We use the trajectory level of features in the tracking refinement process. Overall, we ranked the second place among 16 teams in the CVPR 2020 workshop, the track two of the BMTT challenge, Kikiti and MOTS. Here are the qualitative performance and some video results. Thank you for watching. Please refer to our paper for more details.